Hello everyone and welcome back to another Symfony tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about auto service charges. How do we add them? How do we remove them? How do we change them? And this question comes from one of my YouTube subscribers. Thank you very much for your question. And if you have a question, make sure you leave it in the comments below or feel free to join our fantastic Facebook community where you can meet fellow hospitality enthusiasts and also get answers to any of the questions that you have. They're both open and free to join for everyone. And with that, let's jump into EMC and take a look at auto service charges. And really quick, I wanted to remind you guys about our online learning platform. You can find training and support for Micro Symphony at simsupport.online. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and a coupon code as a special thank you. And with that, let's get back to the video. So here we are in EMC and the first thing I'm going to do is open up my service charges. Now I do have my service charges defined here at the enterprise level, but if this particular service charge will only apply to one location or even one revenue center, then make sure you open it at the appropriate level. And we're going to go to the configuration tab and go ahead and open up service charges. Now I do have a couple defined here, including an 18% gratuity. So let's take a look at how I configured this. If you do need to add one, just follow my programming here. So you'll add a number and a name, and then the percentage in my case is going to be 18%. For the tax class, we're going to leave it to none. Privilege group is going to be set to none. Now this gratuity will be sent 100% towards the server. If this is a gratuity that uh, the establishment will keep and kind of distribute it later, you can change these, but for me, 100% of this goes to the tips paid area. And I do have a reporting group here set up for, uh, for service charges, and that's where my gratuity will go as well. So this is not going to be an open gratuity. It is going to be a percentage. And the only thing that I have is just option bid number 12. I don't have anything else. I just set it here at 18%. Now for the itemizers, I do have just two here, and it is for the ad service charge, the first one. For the menu levels, it's active all the time. For the SLU, you can add it on a screen lookup if you want to activate it manually. I do have it here, but I will actually set it to go automatically. So depending on how you want to program it, you might want to add this or not. As far as the output, you definitely do want it to print on the customer receipt journal and guest check just so the guests see it. And we're not going to use activity groups. So define your service charge. And once you have it defined, I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now, there are a couple of other things that I want to check really quick. And specifically, they're going to be at the revenue center level. I'm going to open up the RVC parameters, which is here under the setup tab. And I'm going to check for my restaurant really quick. So open up RVC parameters. And the first thing I'm going to take a look at is number of guests before auto service charge applies. Now, for me, this is set to zero. So what this will do is, for example, if your house rule is to apply an auto service charge for a table of six people or more, then you can set this here. For me, I'm going to keep it on all the time. So if you do decide to set it for, let's say, six or more, eight or more, 10 or more, whatever it would be, just add the number in here for the cover charge. And then also we're going to go to the option bits. So then you would want to turn this on. Auto service charge by default is off. You want to check this box so it doesn't go automatically. I'm going to leave it deselected. So you can see here, if you deselect it, then it will apply to every transaction. And you will need to check this just to make sure you have it if you do using it as a cover charge. But if you are going to use it all the time, then make sure this is not selected and make sure that this is zero. So now that I'm going to check my parameters, I'm going to go back to the enterprise level and I'm going to open up tender parameters. This is where we're going to link the auto service charge. So the same situation is here. I'm going to link it at the enterprise level. But if your only is going to be available at the property level, then make sure you change the tender parameters at that particular level. So sometimes you have, for example, in-room dining or something that might have a 18 or 20 or 24% service charge, then you want to open it at the revenue center level and change it there. So maybe the main dining room has an 18% service charge, but the in-room dining has a higher one. You can just change it in between them. So for me, I'm just going to change it here, open up tender parameters, going to go to the configuration and here under automatic service charge, I'm going to select my gratuity 18%. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, 
as I activate this, I'm going to have an 18% gratuity on all of my checks. But as our question was posed, how do we take it off? You can run into a situation where the guest will say, hey, I don't want to pay for this, and you won't be able to void it. So in order to take it off, we're going to have to add a button in page design. So I'm going to open up page design and click the little rectangle here, double click it for the transaction area, just so we can see the page itself. Change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, just to see uh, how it looks on my widescreen workstations. And probably I will add the button here under the payment tab. And I actually have one that is called exempt auto service charge. If you don't have one, make sure you do add a new button. Uh, you can just right click and add a button, or you can just copy paste one of the existing ones. And what you want to do is select a function. So we're going to select this one here, click the little arrow and you want to type in exempt. And then this is the function that we're looking for, exempt auto service charges. So you're going to click on that, add it to the screen, and then you can go ahead and save and close page design. So what we did is we defined our service charge. We already made it that it automatically applies. And we also added a button to make sure we'll be able to take it off the screen if we need to. So let's just go really quick to the workstation and test it out. And here we are at the workstation. As always, I'm going to click a quick update just to make sure everything comes down and I'm going to begin a table. It's going to be just table number one. And we can go ahead and ring up, let's say, five buffalo wings. And we can see we have the wings here for $7. We have our tax and an auto gratuity of 18%. So that works just fine. It doesn't matter if I add more menu items here. That auto gratuity will change by itself. And if I go to the payment, if, for example, there is an issue with it and the customer complains about it, says, you know, I don't want to pay this automatic gratuity in order to take it off, there's nothing to void on here. So we're going to use our exempt auto service charge button. Just click that and the auto service charge is gone. So everything works as expected. And that's how we add and remove an automatic service charge. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for your question. If you do enjoy these type of videos, make sure to leave them a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.